Alright, so welcome back guys, or welcome to your first time here. I'm Vision here with Boiner Team, we're bringing you guys in our video. Today I'm going to be giving you my Image Comics February 2020 solicitation. So if Image Comics is something you're interested in, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon. That way to miss any more Image Comics solicitations from me moving forward. Now let's begin. As always, I start off with my honorable mentions for the month. Now my honorable mentions for the month of February include Bitterroot, Copra, Crowded, Defergory, Ice Cream Man, Noman Omen, Olympia, some new book. I think, or, I think these are new books. I can't pronounce them right now, but, um, and then The Old Guard Multiplied. Now, these are just books that haven't come out yet, I haven't gotten to read yet, or just aren't as big on my list as some of the other books I will be talking about. But, with that said, let's move on to the big books I'm excited for coming out in the month of February. First up, we got 20XX issue number 3. Now, the synopsis for this issue reads, As Nuon's relationship with Mir grows, so do her conflicted feelings for her mission, and Mir's last encounter with the east side was brief but the chain reaction it sparked may threaten her newfound safety now i haven't read this book yet so can't offer up too many predictions but it does look good and hopefully i'll be reading it soon not a big fan of this cover due to just the whole romance stuff just not a fan of those kind of covers but overall this looks very good and definitely i think you should check it out if you haven't already Next up, we got a sender issue number nine. Now, the synopsis for this issue reads The Dead Sea Part 4 The Evil Mother may, may rule the universe with an iron hand, but even mothers were young once, and, but, and, the, and gr her, after growing up on an ice covered planet, it's easy to see why she might have an ice covered heart. Now, I read the first arc, but haven't gotten to the second arc yet. This was a really fun read so far, but can't give too many predictions for the second arc yet. I actually really do love the cover, especially with how they got the ice and how it's kind of mimicking that cover. So I really like that. Just haven't gotten to read the second arc, but this book is definitely really good and highly recommend it. Next up, we got Family Tree issue number four. Now the synopsis for this issue reads, Grandpa Judd and Loretta are close to reconciliation of sorts just as the crazed and deadly arborist closes in on their chinatown hideout now i read the first issue this recently and i gotta say jeff lemire's got another great book highly recommend checking this out if you haven't already especially with its post-apocalyptic vibes i i'm kind of mad on this cover i don't know it's okay but nothing i'm crazy about but highly recommend checking this out. I can't wait to read more of this because it's definitely, from the first issue, one of my new favorite books. So definitely recommend it if you haven't checked it out already. Next up, we got Gideon Falls, issue number 21. Now the synopsis for this issue reads, The Pentacolis, part 5. Kara comes face to face with the Laughing Man, or maybe it's face to face to face. Uh, as Fred and Angie take a leap of faith with through the multiverse now i'm a few issues behind i gotta really get caught up on this i actually really love this cover and i'm very curious to see where they take this because i haven't even read this arc yet so i'm curious to see what they do with this book but can't offer up too many predictions and please no spoilers but i really do love this book and i can't wait to get caught up to it next up we got hardcore reloaded issue number three now the synopsis for this issue reads agent drake is hot on a trail of the man responsible for assassinating the president too bad the body he hijacked has been poisoned and he's surrounded by a team of rogue hardcore operator operators now i i'm kind of man on this cover it's kind of too busy for me to actually enjoy it but i haven't read this book yet because my shop sold out so i gotta get issue number one but I really do like the book sort of i'm curious to see where they take this and i think this has potential to be another great book next up we got heart attack issue number four now the synopsis for this issue reads with the threat of powers of mass destruction hanging over the city two masked vigilantes appear to unleash their own brand of justice now i haven't read this book yet but it really does look cool but I can't get offered up to any predictions due to that. I like the cover. It's kind of cool and different. But I'm curious to see what they do with this book. It looks like it could be the new Invincible. So I'm curious to read it. Just haven't gotten to it yet. Next up we got Isola issue number 10. Now the synopsis for this issue reads. Secrets from the past threaten to tear Oian and Rook apart. 
Now, this book was supposed to come out in January, and it's been shifted around in different solicitations so many times, so it might not even come out in February, but I added it here anyway. I really do love this book. The cover, I love the pink and everything. The cover is really cool, but just be cautious when looking at this book because it might not come out in February, but hopefully it does. I really do enjoy this book and definitely recommend checking it out if you haven't already. Next up, we got Philadelphia issue number four. Now, the synopsis for this issue reads, Sin to the Father, part four. As vampires flood the, the city, no one in Philly is safe. The streets become a bloodbath of as the as the population desperately tries to survive until morning. But will the session in John Adams' undead army open a crack that Jimmy and Jose can exploit to defeat them? Or will Jimmy's insecurities have him chasing ghosts? Now, I recently read the first issue, and I love this book and highly recommend it. It looks like another great book. It looks like a kind of a mixture of, like, Walking Dead and Redneck. So if you're into those two things, I highly recommend checking it out because it looks like a big book for image. Next up, we got Lucy Claire Redemption. Now, the synopsis for this issue reads, Lucy sets out to find the only weapons that can bring an end to the werewolves again. However, this time sh around, she'll have help a crew of wolf hunters who don't know or trust her. Beggars can't be choosers, and with myriad obstacles in her path, Lucy will need all the help she can get. Now, I haven't read this book yet. I'm hoping to read it soon, but really it looks like a cool new book, especially if you're like into Redneck or the image book Rose. It looks something similar to those kind of books, so definitely recommend checking it out. Um, the cover is very cool. Love all the covers so far. And definitely looks like a new big book for Image. Next up, we got Middle West issue number 15. Now, the synopsis for this issue reads, While Fox, Jeb, Maggie, Wrench, and the others struggle through inc increasingly threatening weather, they also seek to grow their ranks. Any assault on the Raider Farms compound will need as many able able hands as and sharp minds as the Middle West can muster. Now, I'm really behind on this book because my shop kind of missed an image or an issue, so I gotta get caught up soon. This looks really cool, and it sounds like something big has happened since I last read the last issue, so I'm excited to get back into it, and it definitely looks like a new, exciting arc, so I'm excited to read it when I finally get the chance. Next up, we got Oblivion Song issue number 24. Now, the synopsis for this issue reads, It's all been leading to this. Ed and Marco lead their strike team against the faceless men elsewhere nathan is in a whole different world of trouble now I, this one is another book that slipped away from me so i gotta get caught up soon love the cover though and very interested to see where they take this where i last left off it was really heating up so hopefully i can get caught up soon i really love this book and very interested to see where they take this moving forward this is the arc issue before issue 25 which are always big books for book for comics so i'm very excited to see where they lead up with this issue going into issue 25. Next up, we got Postal Deliverance issue number 7. Now, the synopsis for this issue reads, Mark recovers from a vicious knife wound and has a horrific dreams about the aftermath while Laura claims, reclaims her seat as mayor of Eden. Now, still very interesting where they take this. Again, haven't gotten caught up with it, but definitely is looking to be an interesting book, especially with everything that I hear is going on with these synopsises. I'm okay with the cover, not something I'm crazy about, but just meh, but very excited to finally get to this, hopefully sometime soon. Next up, we got Protector issue number two. Now, the synopsis for this issue reads, First Knife leads his slavers south to retake the city of Chicago. The city is now home to a demon of the world, of the old world, but First Knight has a plan. His, pre his predecessor predecessors have fought such demons before or creatures before now this looks very interesting hasn't come out yet so can't give any predictions and i really like this cover more than issue number one and i'm very curious to see what they do with this it looks like a very cool and interesting book so we got redneck issue 26 now the synopsis for this issue reads tall tales part two tall tales continues as we learn more about the about the secrets of the first vampire demonus the origin of the one we know as Gr grandpa 
Now, this is very interesting. Now, I was under the impression that Grandpa died back in the first arc, unless this is this is like a backstory or something, which I don't care about. That's pretty cool. I'm interested to see what they do with this, especially learning the origins of them vampires. I really do like this cover. I'm curious to see where they take this book. I'm very excited. Donnie Cates is doing a great job with this book, and the cover is awesome. So definitely excited to see what they do with this book moving forward and in this new arc. Next, we got Sonata issue number eight. Now, the synopsis for this issue reads, The Citadel, When Doves Die, Part 2, Cantor prepares to wage war on the rebel Tarians, knowing that whoever wins will come after the reigns next. Their leader, Matari, tries to make peace while Sonata risks everything, setting out, out to find the last of the old gods. Now, I finally got to reading issue one of this, and I gotta say, if you haven't read it already, definitely check it out. This looks like a really cool new book for Image, and I think it could be one of their new big books. I already love it. The covers have been awesome so far, and I'm very interested to see what they do with this book moving forward. Next, we got Tardy, Tardiness, I think it's called. Issue number one out of synopsis for this issue reads, Promising young cadet Tilde is framed for crimes against the Empire after discovering her mother was the ruthless warlord of the deadly colony Tard Tardiness. A vital player in the galactic war. Now Tilde's only way home may, to be, may be to reclaim her mother's dark crown. Now this hasn't come out yet. So I'm very interested to see what they do with it. It sounds like a really, really cool book. Especially with this kind of dark kind of thing to it with an empire. Sounds really cool. Cover is a little busy for me. So I'm not a big fan of it. But definitely looks like a good book. And can't wait to check it out. And I think you should definitely check it out when it hits shops next month. Next, we got the clock issue number two. Now, the synopsis for this issue reads, When aggressive cancer begins spreading through humanity like, like a virus, one scientist will, will sacrifice anything for answers. Is it global genetics conspiracy, the, be, the beginning of World War III, and, and can he get the, to the bottom of it before it, it takes what's left of his family? Now, this looks very cool. Not a huge fan of the cover. It's alright, but I don't know. But this book looks really cool. It's only a short four-issue book, so I think the story is going to be pretty tight and very interested to see what they do with it. I think it could be a good miniseries for Image, and I think it's definitely a book you should check out when you get the chance. Next, we got the marked issue number four. Now, the synopsis for this issue reads, As a malevolent darkness, darkness spreads out from the shadow gate, the marked uh, join with the show. Shogun and the mags in a, in a final all-out assault. This time, they have to win because there is no plan B. Now, I still haven't read this book. The cover is a little busy for me, so I'm not a big fan of it. But this looks like a very exciting book. Definitely want to check it out as soon as possible. But can't give any predictions since I haven't checked it out yet. But definitely recommend checking it out if you haven't already. Next up, we got Undiscovered Country, issue number four. Now, the synopsis for this issue reads, All is lost. The world will wither under the sky pandemic and the destiny man will murder our intrepid explorers before they've made it further into the former U.S. than Nevada unless uh, unless that is brilliant scientist Valentina Sandel can discover one essential truth. Now I'm I'm a little I'm an issue or two behind on this, but I really do enjoy it so far. Love these covers, all of them are really cool, and definitely recommend checking it out, especially if you're into post-apocalyptic stuff. I think you won't be disappointed, and I think it's one of the new big books for Image, so definitely check it out if you haven't already. So yeah, guys, those are my Image Comics February 2020 solicitations. As always, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and share. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon. That way you miss any more Image Comic news from me moving forward, and you can go follow me on Instagram and Twitter, which are linked in the about section on my YouTube channel. As always, it's been Vision here with Binary Entertainment, and I'll see you next time.